guys. So I'm here with my February favorites. Um, I've got a lot of like random stuff to talk about, so I guess let's just get started. Um, I'll start with my favorite body butter. I've been loving this for years. I just, I never remember to mention it in my favorites videos. It is the um, Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Lightly Whipped Body Buttercream, and it's the Pistachio Almond and Sweet Vanilla Fragrance. It is so good. It smells like heaven. At first, I'm getting low, so I'm gonna need a new one really soon. Um, at first, I wasn't sure about the fragrance, but it grew on me, and it's seriously one of my favorites. And when I put this on, it lingers. It lasts so long on my skin, so I love to put this on after my showers, and then I'll spray a body spray or perfume on me, and I swear, it's just the aroma of everything. I'm smelling so good. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll do my makeup favorites next. My favorite foundation I discovered last month, um, and it's, it's just one of my top favorites now. It is the CoverGirl True Blend Hydrating Foundation. Mine is an L2 Classic Ivory. It does have a pump. Um, it's just a really nice foundation. It looks so good on my skin. Um, like I said before, I think when I mentioned this, I went to get the Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation, but Target just didn't have it. I don't know if they're not carrying it anymore, if they aren't making that foundation anymore. It's a really good foundation. Um, so I just, I went with this hydrating one and I really like it. It's probably my favorite over the Healthy Vitalist Elixir, but I still really want a new Healthy Vitalist Elixir, you know? Like this is my new favorite, but that's still one of my like OG favorites. <laughs> Um, and I also fell in love with this Hydrating Camo Concealer by e.l.f. It has a satin finish, and mine is in light ivory. I do really like these concealers. I love the giant doe foot on it. It's like the Tarte Shape Tape. But I like this so much more because it is a hydrating um, primer. Not primer. I haven't been saying primer. Concealer. Um, and I don't know. I just, I really like it, and it's so affordable. I think it's like $6, so... It's really, really good if you haven't tried it yet. Um, I also really like that Fora, Fora. I don't know how to say it, but it's the winged eyeliner stamp. I haven't been doing it. Well, I haven't even been doing like full makeup lately. I just haven't. My mind hasn't been into it, you know, just for doing videos and all that. So I throw like foundation on. I throw on some mascara, but um, I do really like this. It's a lifesaver for those days I really want a wing. I know I can't actually draw a wing myself. This is so good. I'll just show you guys on the back of my hand how well the stamp works. So it looks obviously like a little wing. And I'll just do both sides. Like it's so good. And then obviously you just connect, you know, the wings with some eyeliner on top, which I'm still not really good at drawing on with liquid eyeliner, but I can get past that part just to connect it to the wing because this part's done for me. I don't have to draw a wing, thank God, because I suck at it. Um, one of my favorite physician's formula, the Healthy Lips that I fell in love with months ago, I forgot when I got this, maybe back in December, um, is the one in Magentile. I also like that red one that I wear a lot, but this one is just so pretty. It's the perfect bright pink color. It is called Magentile, so it's a magenta pink, but it's just so pretty. I love the formula of these lipsticks. They're just so nice, and they are comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a lipstick on your lips unless you, like, really, like, thicken up the layers on your lips. Like, then you can tell it's on there, but just a couple quick swipes on your lips. It is so comfortable. The best lipsticks ever, I swear. And just so I don't get this everywhere, I'm going to wipe it off. And the last makeup favorite, I am going to shout out this Tarte palette because I've done quick eye looks with this, and I really like it. Uh, the shades blend well. I've really worked with the shade here, the shade here, um, the black shade. They're really nice. They feel nice. They blend well. They're, they smell good. They're just really good eyeshadows. So I've been really loving this neutral eye palette. Um, a hair favorite, a first for me, 
um, is this Amica Supernova Moisture and Shine Cream, um, which is also like a heat protectant. So I throw this on after my showers when my hair is still damp. Now it doesn't smell like, like it smells super good in the tube. I mean, it does have a scent, but like when it's in your hair, it makes your hair smell really, really good. Even my fiance commented on that. He's like, your hair smells really good. I'm like, thanks, it's this stuff. So um, I love it because it makes my hair smell good. And I do always try to blow dry my hair and straighten it even when I throw it up just so that when I do my bun, my bun doesn't look so crazy. If I do my hair when it's wet or even if I just blow dry it and I don't straighten it, my hair looks crazy because I have like naturally wavy hair. So it just, I need to at least straighten it a little bit so my hair doesn't look so crazy, you know? Um, I'll go with food favorites next. It's random, but, um, I get in these habits or in these moods where, like, all I want to eat are sour worms. I don't know why. I was never, like, a gummy candy fan, really, but, like, in the last several months, I've been eating the crap out of these. My fiance and I even bought, like, a giant bag of these at Target. Yeah, they were gone in, like, two days, and he only had a good handful of them. I ate the rest. These, I think, came out for, like, Valentine's Day, and I was obsessed with these, and I'm going to be so sad that I can't get them again until, I guess, Valentine's Day, unless I can get them on Amazon. But they're the Lint um, Strawberries and Cream White Chocolate Truffles. Obviously, this pack, I went through two packs of these. They're so, so good. I like milk chocolate, but I prefer white chocolate, and the strawberry, it, oh, it is so good. If you guys see these in your stores, or if you see them on Amazon, buy them and try them. If you're into, like, strawberry and chocolate and all that, oh my god, this is one of my favorite candies ever. Um, I also discovered these birthday cake cookie dough bites. I love the regular cookie dough bites, but the birthday cake ones, it's like you're eating little balls of cake batter. Like, that's what it tastes like to me. And I found these at Walgreens, so I really want to go back and get more. I tried looking for them at the dollar store because they usually have the regular cookie dough bites there, but they were, like, out of all their candy last night when I was there. So um, they may have these, they may not, but I want to go back to Walgreens and, like, buy a huge cart full of these seriously they're so good it even says to try them frozen on here which never would have thought to try that but why not right all right i only have a few more favorites left um i'm gonna shout this out i was wearing it in my purse switching video or where i cleaned my purse out this like velour pullover thing it is so incredibly comfortable and i just washed it so it smells really good but oh my god Go to Target, look at the clearance rack over by, like, the, you know, workout apparel and see if your Target has this because I'm so glad I went that way. For $8, it's, like, the best $8 I ever spent, and it was originally $30, so glad I got it when I did. Um, another favorite, I have, I'm not wearing it now, obviously, but I've loved this for years, but I just kind of rediscovered it. It's my little moon and star necklace it's not gonna focus on it really good but i feel like it's really good quality for being a dollar i got this from shop Masse years ago though i actually i looked on there the other night i was looking on shop Masse for random stuff they don't have that exact necklace anymore but check out their jewelry next time you guys are shopping on shop Masse, or if you haven't and you want to like they've got some decent jewelry for a dollar i've gotten lots of earrings from there the only thing is my ears are very sensitive which is why i barely ever wear earrings in my videos i have very very sensitive ears i think i need like real jewelry either real silver or gold earrings because no matter what all the cheap earrings I try wearing, well actually even I think I've tried real earrings. I think I just have sensitive ears. My ears will start stinging after a while. So my mom told me like this little hack that she does. She'll put, she'll coat the earring like needle part with Aura Gel to like kind of numb your ear hole. And that does work the majority of the day, but like towards the end of the night, my ears will be hurting. And like when I go to take my earrings out, it kind of stings when I pull them out. So I don't wear earrings all the time. And I used to not have that issue. When I first had my ears pierced, no issues. It's like as I got older, my ears got really sensitive. I don't understand it, but is anybody else like that? Do you guys have sensitive ears? I wish I didn't. Um, 
I love wearing earrings and I was always the kind of person that like had to have earrings on. It's like the one piece of jewelry I always had, I mean, my ring now, but before I was engaged, like I had to always have earrings in. It's the only thing I cared about, but it's so hard to wear earrings anymore. So, um, another favorite, which once I start doing more planning of my court house wedding, I will share it with you guys more in depth, but this little wedding planner that I got, isn't it so cute? It did come with like this little indent right here, this little gash, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, it's like really the only page I have filled out anyway. It's not really filled out, but it's like a vision board, if you will. It's my inspiration mood board. So I have a picture of my actual dress and my shoes and then like inspo of like what I kind of want. So like, there's my dress and shoes. Now I already have my earrings, but these earrings look kind of like the ones I already have. So I just put them on there. And then I want like a bouquet with kind of purpley flowers for my dad, you know, pancreatic cancer, the color for that is purple. And then even though we're doing a courthouse, I still want to wear a garter, you know, I want to like do it right. And then I love this like flower crown also with like the purple theme. So we'll see. And then I need to get more pictures printed and I can do a vision board or inspiration board um, for like what I want my fiance to wear, stuff like that. So yeah, I really like this. It's really thick. It's got like more in-depth stuff than I need. Like, you know, you can fill out like DJ and stuff like that. And maybe I can fill that out and have stuff planned for like a reception or something later down the road when we're ready to have like a party with our family and stuff. Um, but maybe I'll wait till my best friend is like back in the States. Well, I guess Guam is U.S. territory. You know what I mean? Um, because... Even if she's not in state, maybe she can, like, come to it if she's not in Guam when we plan to have this. Because I'd want her to be a part of that, you know? Like, I really would want her to be my witness at the courthouse wedding. But she's in Guam and can't be. So, she does. She wants to be, though. She said if I wait a few years, she could be my witness. And I was like, it's not that I don't want you to be my witness. But I don't want to wait that much longer. Like, I just want to get married, you know? Um, now, I mentioned the at least the first book in my favorites video last month, I believe, the follow me back. And I was very angry with how it ended. So I got the sequel, Tell Me No Lies. Literally, I got it. I don't remember what day, but I got it on, let's just say a Thursday. I literally stayed up from like 7 p.m. when my kid went to bed until like 5 a.m. reading the entire book because I had to find out what happened. So I'm just going to say these are two of my favorites. Um, again, I got this from the dollar store. My dollar store, I just saw the same book last night. So they still have this. Check your Dollar Tree before you go online and buy them. I did get the second book off Amazon for like, or no, eBay for like 10 bucks. But if you can, if your dollar store has the second book and you've read the first book or you want to read the first book, pick them up at Dollar Tree for a dollar. But yeah, I got this one for $10 on eBay. They're both really good. I mean, it's hard to explain, but like, I don't understand why the person who wrote it, like, did what they did, but they really, like, made me interested in the story and they wanted. They got my attention, I can say that, you know, um, they're really good, it is kind of like psychological thriller style, but I was really pissed off with how this book ended, but once I like started reading this one, I understood it more, wasn't mad anymore, and yeah, they're really good. I recommend them if you're into that kind of book. Um, I do think it's supposed to be like young adult books or something, um, but you know what, I mean, I liked them, I enjoyed them. I don't know. I forgot where I saw that, but it said it somewhere. Maybe it was when I looked up online. It might have said it there. Anyway, I don't have many more favorites other than that. Um, I was, I guess, going to tell you, like, song favorites and just put some on the screen as I say them. See, I don't listen to new music, though. I don't know anything new that's out right now. I don't listen to the radio. I listen to what's on, like, my Amazon playlist, and they're all songs from, like long time ago. So like my favorite song I've been listening to mostly like when I just want something like kind of 
to make me like just sing and feel good is See You Again by Miley Cyrus. It's from the Hannah Montana 2 Meet Miley Cyrus CD. So that was back in like 2008 or something. Um, that was like my jam back in the day. That whole CD was really good. The Miley Cyrus one. I didn't really listen to the Hannah Montana one. I did listen to the Hannah Montana CD, like the first CD with Best of Both Worlds on it. Not gonna lie. But I didn't really listen to that Hannah Montana CD. I listened to the Miley Cyrus CD. And See You Again is one of my favorite songs. It always will be. It always has been. So I just listen to that all the time. Um, and then Gloria by Laura Branigan? Is that her name? I always forget her name. But again, the St. Louis Blues, as we started really coming back and winning a lot of games, they started playing the song Gloria after each of our wins, and then we won the Stanley Cup. So Gloria kind of became like the St. Louis Blues like theme song. And it's just such a feel-good song, and it always reminds me like that we won the Cup finally. Like, we are the champions. And I, I got goosebumps just thinking about it. It just made me so happy. Like, after the year I had last year, losing my dad, and then we came so far and we finally won the cup. It just made my year, like, look so much better. That sounds stupid, like, that winning a championship in hockey made my... It just, I don't know. It made me so happy um, because we fought so hard and we came so far and we were literally, like the bottom of the totem pole, and we made our way all the way up. So it just made me really proud to be a St. Louisan, made me really proud of our team. Hockey's always been my favorite sport ever since I was a kid. Like, baseball's cool and all. I'd rather go to a game than watch it on TV. It's just kind of boring to me. Don't like football. Don't like basketball. Not really a fan. They just bore me. Um, I like playing those sports. Like, with my kid, we have so much fun playing sports. But, um... Hockey is just so fun, and it's fast-paced, and I like the fights, and it's so much more, like, easy to get into for me. So I've always been a Blues fan, and I'm so much more a Blues fan now that we won the Cup. It just, it's like, it really is possible after that little rant. Um, okay, I'm done. Um, oh, and one of my other favorite songs, it's an oldie but a goodie. It's Uptown Girl by Billy Joel. First time I heard it was when I first started working at Applebee's. And I don't know, it takes me back to like those first day, like months at Applebee's. I don't know why. It's just like the good days, like when I first started working there and it was like so much fun and I loved all the people I worked with. And I just, I don't know. It's such a good feel good song for me upbeat, happy. I love that song. So I will try and like add little photos of each song for you guys. Um, TV shows I've been loving. Um, I went through a phase where every night I would put either Lizzie McGuire on or Hannah Montana, just something like feel good type of show so that, you know, my anxiety was more at bay and I, you know, I, I didn't want to think about anything bad. So like Forensic Files, it's one of my favorite shows, but I can't watch it right now because my anxiety is so bad. I can't watch something suspenseful. Like that. It just, I, I can't do it. Reading something suspenseful was bad enough, but I did it. Um, but, so yeah, I try to watch feel-good shows. Now I'm back into One Tree Hill. I'm watching that on Hulu. Um, now, I'm sure I'll get anxiety watching it because there's just so much that happens in One Tree Hill, but it's one of my favorite shows. I love it so much, so I've just been into watching that again. Um, I don't watch new stuff, guys. I don't know what's new on TV. I don't, even though there's shows I say, like, yeah, I'll watch this. I'll check it out, like, on Netflix or Hulu. I still go back to, like, all the stuff I already know and love. And I read somewhere, like, when you have anxiety... It's more comforting to watch a show where you already know the outcome because then it's, like, less anxiety-inducing, if that makes sense. I don't remember, like, the exact wording of what I read, but it was, like, you know, watch something, you know, that you already know what's going to happen because it's more comforting to you than to watch something that you don't know the outcome. It could cause you more anxiety. So I'm just trying to watch something. So even though I may get anxiety watching One Tree Hill, I know what happens for the most part. I forgot some things, but you know, still on season one. I should be getting on season two soon. I, I said that last night, but I'm on like episode 20 
So I should be getting closer to season two. I don't know how many episodes are in each season. But anyway, I'm just like rambling on now. So that's my favorites. Um, I'm still loving this shirt. I've worn this shirt for so long here. Um, I am an outfit repeater. I see people like getting on people about always wearing the same clothes. I own a lot of clothes, but I wear the same like five outfits. Get on me about it. I don't care. I got this from Target, and I wish I would have got a second one when they still had this shirt because I wear out my t-shirts so fast because I literally wear, like, my favorite t-shirts all the time, and I'm constantly washing them, so, like, they'll get holes in them or tattered. I'm sure I could find this online, but, like, this specific one from Target fits me so good. I want, like, this exact same one, you know? So, all right, guys. I'm rambling. I don't know why. Um, I just wanted to get my favorites video done so I'm not doing it late into March. Um, and again, I'm not going to feel like doing it like most likely next week anyway, just with what Tuesday is and all of that. But I'm not going to get into that again. If you saw my video last night, you know what Tuesday is. So if nobody hears from me for a little while, just know like I'll be okay, but I won't be okay for a little while if that makes any sense. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Do you guys have any favorites? Let me know down below. What did you love in the month of February? Um, I think my most favorite thing out of the whole month were, were these candies, and I wish I had some more that I could snack on tonight, but they're all gone. So now I need to find a new favorite candy that I can get with all the Easter stuff coming out. So yeah, I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye!